if there is a devil, can only have been sent by the devil himself. Had to have been sent by Shaitan. Had to have been sent by Lucifer. It cannot have been from anyone else. Anybody who can sit down and say to you, we're going to go into this country, what's the projected death? 1.3 million. 1.3 million deaths is, a not, is not a lot to you. And I can tell you why. I can tell you why. Because most of you here don't see Iraqis as people. They're non people. Most of you don't see Iraqi children as real children. You understand? Real children are the children who are here. Oh, look at that little white girl running with her blonde hair. You understand? They're real children to you. If she dies, all of you will collapse crying. I'm the man that was never was, man that was never asked. That they have a right to dehumanize us. They believe that. And we're talking on that dehumanizing process to such an extent that we go to Chicago and the enemy of me in Chicago is people that look like me. Do you understand? And it's almost like a it's almost like an inverse Stockholm syndrome. Do you understand? Where everybody has turned in on themselves and wishes to create destruction upon themselves. And so I am saying to you that there was an answer to this, yeah, there was a reason why we are. It doesn't mean that we're advocating self-responsibility for ourselves, but there is a point where you look at the psychological, yeah, and the psychiatric basis for why we are the way in which we are. And I'm saying to you that when I pointed out to this man who didn't want to listen earlier on, and I said to him, I said to him, when you look, and I'll repeat it again because I didn't think that I explained myself yet yeah, aptly previously. I said, when you look at Australia, forget the bastardized um, history that you were previously taught, because you were taught that it was who that discovered um, Australia. Was it Cook? Yeah. Who was who was you told discovered America? I'm asking you from your school days. Who discovered America? Pardon? All right, officially. Yeah, well, 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 hold on a second. Listen, I'll give your first answer. So, officially, we were told that Cook discovered Australia. We were told that Columbus discovered America. We know that the Rhodes brothers went to South Africa and what they termed in which was Rhodesia. Wherever these people have gone, you know, there's something is, is quite odd. It's quite odd that they name it, they take it over. They say that they're responsible. Can you imagine? Can you imagine us in Africa suddenly saying we're teaching in class and in uh, the 12th century we sent a ship to a place called Britain and Britain is now called Nigeria East. And you teach that in the class, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you laugh? You'd say, oh my God, that's, 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 that's ridiculous. And yet we have people who I say are our mortal enemies. Mortal meaning that we have died at their hands, we have been miseducated at their hands and we are brutalized every day in this system at their hands. Most white people won't get it. You know what most white people will say? Instead of listening to what I say, you know what they'll say? You, 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 you've got a chip on your shoulder. That's what I say to you. They won't answer the question. They won't answer the question as to how we are the way in which we are. Do you remember when the white boy went into the church in America and he killed the parishioners in the church? What was the first thing I heard on Fox News? What, what kind of background must he have had? What kind of upbringing? We really need to look into this yeah, so we can learn for the future. What? What? This is when one of theirs kills. When a black person kills, well, that's his nature, isn't it? And the first thing that happens when we get killed by this mortal enemy, oh, well, he, he got arrested. He got arrested 15 years ago. The pitch and the girls backside. Oh, 
and, and given the intention that as far as they're concerned, he deserved to be killed. But as far as I'm concerned, there is no death penalty for pinching a woman's backside. You know, there's a criminal charge, but there is no death penalty. And so the point that I made earlier, which as I said to you, was badly explained. Anywhere where people of this colour are, New Zealand, Australia, Brazil, Mexico, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Ghana, Nigeria, South Sudan, or is it North Sudan now? Because this man has gone and split their country. Do you understand? Egypt, Iraq, Iran, Jordan, Syria, Pakistan, Waziristan, Bosnia, Kosovo. There is a constant through this. And yet, if you point out what the constant is, <laughs> yo, 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 you're racist. You're racist. Well, who has been behind it? And what structures have they set up? Because I'm telling you, the man who's gone there, who's gone there and done that is not this skin colour. The one who set up that structure in those countries is not this skin colour. And yet, he has taught you to lock off your rational self when it comes to deciphering yeah, common sense. Why? So you can never look at him. A white woman on TV this week said that Tony Blair is the world's biggest terrorist. When she did that, I got up and I clapped. And you know why? Because she, through the loss of her son, has come into the age of realization as to who and what these people are. Barack Obama yeah, is an agent of terror. Now, you might not see it when you open up the Sun newspaper or the Daily Mail tomorrow, but you ask a kid who was at a wedding party in Waziristan, who's standing up and all of a sudden a missile comes from somewhere you've not seen and blown people to smithereens. You know, if my daughter wasn't with me, I'd take out some photos and show you exactly what people look like when they've been blown to pieces by rockets. Now, is, 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 is the rocket of Obama different from a rocket of ISIS? I'm just asking you. But one is a terrorist, yeah, and the other is a supposedly respectable world leader. For me, they are one and exactly the same. But we need to point out who this mortal enemy, yeah, of dark skinned people around the world is. It is not racist to say who they are if you use empirical and anecdotal evidence. But as the Bible says, if you don't want to, it says we're going to give you over to the delusional life so you can believe whatever you want to believe. You don't have to believe a word I say. I don't care whether you believe a word I say. You understand? But I tell you this, when you go home tonight, in the silence of the night, something's going to come to you and you're going to say, I know, I know what that guy in Hyde Park was saying was true. These people, these people who have set up these are these structures, these mega structures of terror around the world can only have been sent, yeah, by if there is a devil, can only have been sent by the devil himself. Had to have been sent by Shaitan, had to have been sent by Lucifer. It cannot have been from anyone else. Anybody who can sit down and say to you, We're gonna go into this country, what's the projected death? One 1.3 million. 1.3 million deaths is, a not, is not a lot to you. And I can tell you why. I can tell you why. Because most of you here don't see Iraqis as people. They're not people. Most of you don't see Iraqi children as real children. Do you understand? Real children are the children who are here. Oh, look at that little white girl running with her blonde hair. You understand? They're real children to you. If she dies, all of you will collapse crying. Yeah? At this little this little devil. Do you understand? Who's been blown to pieces. But you can see a black child blown to pieces and it doesn't matter because they're non-people. They don't exist. Yeah, you can go into Iraq and you, was it Iraq and Iran that went to war in the 80s? One side on behalf of America, the other side on behalf of Russia. 1.3 million Muslim young men died. What? To follow? What was that? To set the Sunnah of Rasulullah? Do you understand? Because I can tell you, 
it wasn't, it wasn't two sides, two sides, ostensibly Muslim, fought, you understand, against two racist superpowers, yeah, who care nothing for people that look like us. And this is why wherever we are in the world, they go, they disrespect, they murder, they, 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 they financially strip, you understand, there's a moral decline, and nobody wants to say who these people are, because you're frightened of them. Yeah, you're frightened of them. Hell is going to be filled with all of you because you've become cowards. Yeah, the Muslims today are cowards. The Christians are cowards. To see more videos like this, subscribe to Titans TV down below. Thanks. The greatest darky, they bite with shark teeth and hate malarkey. Who are you? The greatest. Cameron, and uh, I think today, quite recently as well, we see that Jeremy Corbyn, uh, you know what, was kind of butt dancing over the topic of reparations. Uh, how do we fulfill um, our 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 duties to Jamaica since they benefited, or the British government or the British uh, people benefit a lot from, uh, you know what, the colonization, the slavery of Jamaican people and the wealth that it created. Now I want to know, uh, should we be seeking reparation from, uh, you know what, the United States um, government? Should we be seeking reparations from the United Kingdom? Um, you know what, because I know different other, uh, you know, ethnicities, Jews, Japanese and so forth, actually seek reparations and actually got it. So should we be doing the same thing as well or forget about it and move on? Yes, we, we should do that. We definitely should do that. But the thing is, we have to do it from a position of power, because right now we're in the same we're, we're in the back of a slave ship trying to demand reparations. But you're still in the bottom of a slave ship, as our brother Neely Fuller would say. And you can't do anything in the bottom of a slave ship. You make demands, but you can't follow up on those. Is the father God? 100 percent. 100 percent. Is the Holy Spirit God? 100%. Is the Son God? 100%. If you have these three coming together, how many gods do you have? You have a wife. So if he says you and your wife become one, are you one? You are defending something that your forefathers, the missionaries who came to Africa and got the Bible and stuck it down their throat and told them that God is a white man with blue eyes and blonde hair. So if you say that um, Christians believe that um, Jesus was a blue, um, blonde eyed, blue, blue, blonde hair, blue eyed, but you need to prove, you give evidence in the Bible that it says that. Yeah.